In our feature tonight, we focus on a county that has been affected by multiple threats, ranging from banditry, drought and starvation, making life unbearable for the locals. Samburu County has seen it all, women and children suffering the most, while their men move from one place to another in search of pasture for their livestock. The same men are forced to sleep in the cold to protect their animals from bandits. Many have died as a result. And as Emily Chabet reports, women from this pastoralist community are turning to smart climate agriculture as a way of fighting hunger and malnutrition in their children, as well as earning livelihoods without worrying about bandits. A drive through the bushy and hilly terrain from Maralal town in Samburu County to the west side takes us to Ichenge village in Longarate location, Samburu West sub-county. This village, which is almost 50 kilometers from Maralal town, borders West Pokot County. The soil is fertile in this region, but food insecurity has been as a result of lack of enough rainfall, especially in the last four years, and insecurity in this northern part of the country. Samburu County is among the six counties that were declared dangerous and disturbed due to frequent killings as a result of bandit attacks that have been witnessed for several months. It has put the county on the brink of a food shortage crisis. A group of women from this village are turning the narrative of this region. They are farming to save their families from triple threat of climate change, banditry and malnutrition. Hii ukulima nimeanza mwaka wa 2020 ilianza na shamba hii shamba kidogo wakati tumepata toka nikaendelea kufanya fanya hiyo kasi kidogo kidogo ya shamba boy ninapata market juu watu wanakuja kununua mboga nikaona hii mboga itoshi juu ni kidogo nikapanua shamba kidogo we were among the worst hit county because for over four years, close to five years, we did not experience rains. Our morans, the elders had shifted with the livestock. Uh, we could get stories from women when we were going to activities that their men had gone as far as to Kiambu County, Nairobi County, in search of pasta, and then uh, to near, nearby counties, causing a lot of conflict and tension, especially in the counties of uh, Baringo, Marsabit, and neighboring Isiolo counties. <laughs> Helen, who is a member of SIPAT Women Group, is one of the many women who have gone through training on climate change mitigation and survival tactics from WWF Kenya and other organizations after losing their animals to drought and banditry. Climate change ikikuja, tunapeleka mifugo, mifugo, tunapeleka, hata mimi samani nilikuwa na mbusi mingi sana. Nilikuwa na mbusi karibu miyampili ya misini, nilikuwa na ngombe salasini, wakati jirali imekuja ikaisha. Ngombe sikakufa, mbusi sikakufa, sote sikakufa, na nika, nikasema wacha mimi niingie kwa hii kasi, yenye iwesi, iwesi kufa. Kwa sababu hii kasi ukiishika tuna kuifanya kwa bidii, utapata faida yake utayona. In this particular uh, program, uh, funded by WWF Kenya. We trained women and youth on climate smart agriculture, uh, including irrigation and kitchen gardens. Uh, these activities um, targeted women who had been left behind by men, especially uh, during the drought uh, period. Men had left with livestock and women were left vulnerable at homes. Um, with no source of livelihood. Thousands of children and mothers have been affected by effects of climate change, especially in the arid and semi-arid areas. Cases of malnutrition in children and the elderly have gone up in the last three years. Efforts by community groups to change the way of survival in this region from solely pastoralism are slowly bearing fruit. Kutoka hapa chamba mbaka alaga ni 500 meters. Nika inunua pipes, nika inunua generator, na iyo generator imenisaidia sana kwa hii kasi ya ukulima. Hii kasi ya ukulima imenifanya niende mpele kabisa, ni juu hata hapa hivi, hapa kwetu, watu wamepata faida, juu hawaendi mbali kutafuta mboga. When we do not receive rains, she shifts to using a vertical sacks and cultivating a small piece of land. And when we have rains, uh, she carries out large-scale farming like what we see right now, besides uh, providing an alternative source of income for the household. We're also looking at the nutrition uh, sustainability of the household, and that's why we had to introduce the um, 
component of multi cropping for them. The residents from these disturbed areas are calling on both the national and county governments to support them in smart climate agriculture, adding that the move will reduce conflicts due to lack of enough water and pasture for their livestock, and instead they will earn a living through farming. <laughs> Umifugo simeamishwa lakini sisi tumebaki tu manyumbani kulima mashamba. Hawawezi kuja kutafuta shamba. Wanakuja tu wanatupita wanaenda kutafuta mifugo mali yenye iko. Sasa hiyo kitu ndio imenifanya mimi nikuwe mkulima. Nikipata maji ama nikiesa kupata sola yenye ninatumia kutoka laga ikuja kwa shamba itakuwa the best kwa sababu itani support na hii ukulima yangu. Emily Chebet Citizen TV